Welcome to The Philanthropeneur Show, hosted by Dr. Victoria Boyd, designed to offer tips, strategies, and insights to empower nonprofits and entrepreneurs with sustainable win-win solutions. The Philanthropeneur Show is sponsored by The Philanthropeneur Foundation, building capacity through education and professional services. Well, welcome to the Philanthropeneur Show. This is Dr. Victoria Boyd, president of the Galaxy Group and editor of the Philanthropeneur Journal. And usually I'm here with my co-host, Heidi Anderson, founder of Credit Cares and president of Electronic International. But she's not here with me today. However, I am thrilled to have another dynamic philanthropeneur joining me as guest co-host to bring you the Philanthropeneur Show, which airs every first and third Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'll bring her on in just a few seconds. I hope you enjoyed the rebroadcast of two of our most popular shows from the past year while we took the month of July to rejuvenate, refresh, and renew. Well, we all needed that. Well, Heidi jumped right back in and is off to a conference, and that's why she's not here today. And I can't believe next month we will be celebrating our first year anniversary, and we have some special things that we're going to do for that show. Actually, Heidi and I are going to do a review of the highlights that we had throughout the year. So we're going to talk about the things we learned and some of the key tips and strategies that we offered our listeners. Okay. I'm going to get back to our co-host, Sharon. We both work with Heidi and found out celebration is in order. We received our 501c3 designation for the Foundation to Foster Empowerment. That is phenomenal. Um, If you want to read more about Heidi's journey, founding Credit Cares and the Foundation in the summer issue of the Philanthropy Journal, it's really an inspiration. Find it on the website or at issue, that's I-S-S-U-U dot com slash philanthropeneur. However, let's get back to what's going on today. So excited to have Sharon Evans, CEO and founder of Evans Helping Hands, LLC, and Evans Helping Hands Foundation as my guest co-host today. She has really taken the bull by the horns, launched her business several years ago, and now has the philanthropic arm which supports her mission. And because I know her background, today's guest will be one of special interest to her. So Sharon, welcome. Tell us a little more about your journey to where you are now. Oh, good morning. Thank you, Victoria. I'm so excited for being here this morning and partnering with you. Um, in my company right now, we're just um, remodifying and changing things around because what I found was that the masses desire to be educated and empowered. So um, the Edu- uh, Evans Epping Hand Foundation is structured to do just that. We're going to offer workshops, uh, grant writing classes, business startup seminar, and just find different activities to keep companies and small organizations, nonprofits, collaborating with each other, networking, and showing support. That's great. Thank you know, you so it's much. great to, yeah, to really tie in what your business does to the nonprofit sector. We call that congruence of interest, where you're really supporting your own needs but supporting the community. You know, and, and Sharon, That's because nice. you're the co-host now, you get to help me introduce and talk to our guest today. And, and we usually have quite a few guests from our neighboring country of Canada, as is our guest today, who hails from the Toronto area. She is owner of Health in Harmony and is a speaker author, and registered nutrition consultant practitioner with goals to boost the health and wellness, productivity, and morale for staff of corporations, associations, school boards, government, or community-based groups. Author of Frazzled Hurried Women, Your Stress Relief Guide to Thriving, Not Merely Surviving, this work keeps her quite busy, but she also spends time time as vice chair of the International Schizophrenia Foundation and chair of the Mindful Campaign, which focuses on a better future for children's mental health. 
Let's welcome Rosalie Mosco, and please expand on your background and why did you, a former singer, songwriter, performer, and recording artist for children, turn to a new career which seems like the polar opposite in health and wellness in midlife? Welcome, uh, Rosalie. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Victoria. I'm really pleased to be here and uh, to share my story. Uh, actually, I was doing wellness for kids. I was a singer for children's music, and I was trying to get children to express their feelings through music and, and uh, creativity through music. And I guess I was just always interested in uh, helping people uh, bring out the, the best that they can be. And uh, when I was facing my own health issues when I was in my mid-30s, I looked for ways to help myself. I, I was really a frazzled, hurried woman. You talk about yeah. <laughs> That's why I wrote the book. Are we all? Are we all? <laughs> <laughs> I think all women today are sharing this uh, adventure of being, uh, you know, trying to be the best we can be, and we're lucky we're living in this age where we can do it. It's not always easy. You have to balance family and and your, uh, you know, your parents. Uh, sometimes uh, a aging, sick parents. I you know I had to do that. And um, I found myself uh, getting really burnt out. I was really exhausted. Mm -hmm. um, I had a lot of car accidents, uh, three within a two-month oh. period. <laughs> oh, two, wow. were even at the same, two were even at the same intersection. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. We need to ban you from driving that way. No, 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 no. You can't go past that intersection I was anymore. really, oh, I, I needed to slow down. And I started to look for ways. I took some relaxation technique uh, courses. I started to eat better, have more spinach instead of chocolate. Not that I still don't like chocolate. Oh, darn. <laughs> I'm a chocolaholic. Well, since it's dark, you know, we're, we're, you're laughing. It's okay. Yeah, I go with the dark uh, chocolate now. <laughs> Right. <laughs> so I guess that I just um, and then when my own uh, my own health was at risk, I had a uh, turned out I had a, um, a lumpectomy for a precancer condition on my breast. It was it just a found with a spot on a mammogram, and I was scared. My mother had you know died a few years earlier from breast cancer complications, and then on top of it, my son uh, just shortly after becomes ill. So I I knew I had to do something. Uh, with, to increase my own health and the health of my son and his mental health. So it just sort of made me shift, and I went back to school and studied wellness and, and nutrition and health promotion, and I'm so glad I did. Absolutely. You, you know, we, we often take those midlife shifts. Uh, mm -hmm. What you used to do is near and dear to me because I taught dance for 28 years, so I was mm -hmm. also in the performing arts, and, and yeah. I, too, took my – interest, passion, and, and skills in choreography and things like that, and you would be surprised how, how those skills are transferable into becoming an entrepreneur or creating nonprofits. It's uh, true. It's, it's very, true. So very true. true. Very true. It, very yeah, true. Absolutely. You, you, you take, we're, we're very multi-talented, we women. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And plus we know how to uh, be flexible and adjust and make those shifts, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> it's true. It's so true. It's so true. Yeah. Very so, true. so with your company, um, what services do you actually provide for people uh, that that might be looking for what you do? Well, I'm, I do a few things related to my work. I've been working as a speaker on stress relief, and nutrition, and well-being for, as you said, for many organizations. And I like to make it fun and uh, use my background and sing sometimes in my talks. And but I also do personal coaching on stress relief and nutrition uh, for individuals. So I either do it in person in the, where I live in the Toronto, Canada area, or I do it on the mm -hmm. phone. I, I just before I, I met with you today, I was researching some uh, information for someone in South Carolina who is a client of mine who is looking for better mental health, and I was getting her some names of places that sold gluten-free breads. And, you know, like it does, <laughs> in today's very small world, we can find things, uh, you know, and, and talk about it wherever we are. But um, so I do that nutritional consulting, uh, personal consulting of, on stress relief for people who are interested and speaking. So those are my three areas that I, I do. And, and of course, my, um, I, I, I've been doing that for, I guess, about 20 years. And, uh, and in the nutrition, I also suggest supplementation according to people's needs to boost mental and physical mm. health. Well, that should really interest wow. you, Sharon. Cause <laughs> yes, yes. You heard me say, wow. <laughs> As mental uh, health, I embrace mental health. I presently 
contract locally with six agencies here in the Valley uh, oh. providing what we call psychosocial rehabilitation because I as well have the compassion uh, for the wellness and uh, making sure that people are able to self-maintain. And I go directly into their homes and work with them and their families. Oh, wonderful. how wonderful. That's great. Well, I, I feel I'm doing things like that, too, with helping them with what to eat and what what to put in their mm-hmm. mouths and how it affects your brain and your moods and your mental health. So we're all on the same page, and it's wonderful when we're working to help people. That's, that's very exciting what you're doing. Yes, thank you very much. Exciting what you're doing too. Yeah, I I love it. It's it's really it's to to do with also my uh, uh, charitable foundation too. So, wow. I, but I did I did end up writing a book on uh, this frazzled herd woman because um, it was uh, sort of rumbling around in my head after I graduated from a wellness and, and health promotion program. And um, and uh, as uh, I also went and that back was to going to be our next question. What actually oh, made yes. you? Oh yes. Oh, I jumped ahead. Here we go. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hey, no. I, we're, we're reading each other's mind. We're telepathic, even though we're thousands. Of oh my goodness. So we do. We want to know <laughs> what made you write that book. <laughs> Yeah, I, I wrote the book because I was a hurried woman, a frazzled woman, and I, I was determined to calm my frazzled ways. And uh, you know, you, you know what it's like. I'm sure the women know they get exhausted and they can't they can't cope. And sometimes they, uh, I got sick a lot, overwhelmed, and, uh, and libido, you know, on the floor. <laughs> Yeah. And um, I became passionate about sharing how to uh, to get yourself well. This valuable information with women, and I I got it out to the end of 2011. It's in the um, Canadian bookstores, but it's also on Amazon. dot com and Amazon. dot ca. And um, the chapters are filled with many great tips for on all aspects of well-being, a holistic view of how to be well. I did teach this at a college, at the, at the college I graduated from, a, a wellness approach, approach to stress management. And I was so positive and excited about it that I felt I needed to put this in a book. And uh, I have a, how to combat overcommitment, uh, positive self-talk to boost our mood, and even immunity. Would you talk positively to yourself? You boost your immunity. Uh, relaxation right. techniques, uh, nutrition chapters so that people know how to feed themselves, and uh, time management tips and relationship uh, tips, and, of course, menopause, you know, good old menopause. <laughs> oh, <All right>. uh, <laughs> Menopause, it's taking <laughs> over me. Can I? Oh, see, you haven't it? lost that songwriter, that singer inside. Can of I you? just miss it? <laughs> anyway, the book's available, and um, or you can check it on my site too at healthinharmony.com. That that's wonderful. You know, uh, we like to really help promote uh, things that our guests do and and talk about that. We're going to take a real quick commercial break not, uh, right now. We'll be right back with uh, Rosalie in just a moment. Hey, are you a small business owner like me who wants to make a charitable contribution and needs easy access to charitable giving sources? that you can automate for your business for free. Then I invite you to visit www.credit-cares.com. They have charitable giving options using their innovative merchant platform that helps nonprofits raise money and helps merchants make contributions at no additional cost to them using the products and services of Electronic Commerce International. Our giving options are easy to set up for small business. So if you have a business entity, we can donate in your business name. Go to www.credit-cares.com and see how you can make a difference every day by doing what you already do. Go to www.credit-cares.com and fill out the form or call 855-782-2737. For more information on how your business can be a difference maker in your community. Okay, so you know this entire show is designed to offer tips, insights, or strategies to utilize or use as a model for growth. But the growth of what? Recently I was asked, what was behind the term philanthropeneur versus what does it mean, which perhaps really more clearly gets to the core of our goals? Let us... Let me go back to the root of how philanthropeneur is defined and how it's a model for business and not merely an intersection of two interests. 
It is quite obvious that the term is a derivative of the words philanthropy and entrepreneur. However, when they are combined, a conscious emphasis was placed on letting entrepreneur be predominant. There are two reasons for this. The first goal is to have entrepreneurs develop businesses that include and merge their passion, community impact, into the business model. And second, and conversely, nonprofits need to create organizations that are built around an entrepreneurial spirit, using both practice, best, the best practices from businesses. So while we support independently volunteering in the community as an entrepreneur, it is so much more beneficial to merge your message, have that congruence of interest. Or as we heard, you know, that Je- our guest Josh Leslie, also from Canada, he sp- we spoke about this congruence of interest so that your efforts have double the impact and your marketing is meaningful. We're going to take another quick commercial break. The Philanthropreneur is dedicated to your success. Visit thephilanthropreneur.com to find and explore a wide range of services and resources. Register and receive benefits such as training, early bird discounts, and the Philanthropreneur Journal, a nationally distributed bi-monthly digital publication serving everything philanthropreneur, filled with tips, strategies, and resources to support your goals. Need more marketing exposure and have community impact? The Philanthropreneur is proud to offer ads for a cause, where 10% of your marketing purchase goes directly to charity. Contact us today to place your ad. Increase your reach in a professional digital publication or radio spot. It's a great marketing tool to send, post, or share in a variety of formats. Deadlines are on a rolling basis, so don't miss being included in the next publication. Visit thephilanthropreneur.com and click the Journal Marketing Ads tab today. Mention this show and get a 10% discount, www.thephilanthropreneur.com. Okay, welcome back with our special guest, Rosalie Mosco. So, okay, we're going to continue with these questions because we really want to now hear how you have community impact. So what made you become involved with the International Schizophrenia Foundation, and what is your role? Well, it really is an, a foundation, a wonderful education uh, foundation, a charitable, uh, chartered charitable in Canada with international affiliates, and all over the world, about 19 countries. And um, but it really all started for me back in ni- 1989, when my 19-year-old son left for an overseas youth tour, and uh, about three weeks into the tour, we get a shocking phone call. Uh, telling us, your son has collapsed on the top of a mountain. You'd better get here and pick him up and take him home. He's gone paranoid. Uh, We were so shocked. My husband left on the next plane, and, uh, you know, just a few weeks earlier, he had left with his buddies. He was laughing, happy, his guitar tucked under his arm. We we just couldn't believe it. When he arrived home, he was Mm. in a really shocking state. And I was pretty devastated. Mm. Our whole family was. But I did decide... I was going to do something to help him and, uh, of course, my own health issues. And I'm happy to report that we're both in better health now than we were 24 years ago. And I I do owe it a lot to what I found out in this foundation and my own personal investigation of complementary medicine. I began searching for answers, and I came across a book by Abram Hoffer, MD, PhD, and psychiatrist, a biochemist, about the use of nutrients and, and diet and uh, to feed our brain and restore brain health. And I called the doctor, and uh, Dr. Hoffrey, and he directed me to uh, the International Schizophrenia Foundation, which was really just in Canada at the time. Now it's all over mm-hmm. the world. But, and, uh, but this doctor in my own hometown was, uh, tested him for many nutrient deficiencies and other testing, and uh, he clearly needed help in so many areas. And the transformation began before our eyes when he went on this uh, special diet, uh, some uh, different supplements. I was so impressed with the results of complementary treatments. I eventually left the music business and enrolled in health and wellness and nutrition programs. And I ended up working with the doctor who helped him towards recovery. So it was really exciting for me. Yeah, absolutely. uh, yeah, and I became affiliated with the foundation. I became a board member, and um, so that's how I, I, I got into it. I was so enthralled, and uh, I'm really proud to serve as vice chair of the board now. 
and uh, also with the uh, children's charity, which is called mindfulcharity.ca. And the Schizophrenia Foundation not just helps schizophrenia, it also helps all forms of mental illness, including bipolar, depression, anxiety, dementia, um, you know, uh, ADHD. It's uh, www.isf, as in Frank, mentalhealth.org. Yeah, so, we're going to let yeah, you give all those, those uh, websites yes. in a second. What, so, sure, you know, thank I'm, you. Being in the mental health uh, sector, I'm always very curious to know uh, how are other programs structured. So tell me a little bit about what kinds of services and programs does the uh, organization provide. Well, we provide peer-to-peer doctor training programs because we are medical. Uh, it's to go along with the medical programs that are already in place for the person, if there is any. We have a nutrition for docs program accredited by the College of Family Physicians of Canada. Some of our other programs are the uh, integrative medicine for the treatment of depression and integrative medicine for children's mental health. That's just a few. But uh, we also do uh, run programs for the public on many subjects, and especially mental health. And uh, we provide a practitioner's list where families can find a doctor or other health professional who can treat with this orthomolecular medicine. And orthomolecular means uh, finding the right molecule. It's like straightening out the molecules, and, and that's really what it's about. It's like if a person's short in B12, they'll have, they may have depression. If they're short in, in iron, they'll be exhausted. They'll be tired. I, they'll, they won't be able to think straight. You know? So it's like looking at what's going on in the body that can affect mental health. And that's not generally done in, uh, with, in the uh, mental health world, but uh, it is starting to g- uh, gain some grass under it, and we're very excited. We have annual professional conferences. We just had our 43rd annual conference uh, in April of this year with representatives from 19 country- countries. And we publish wow. a mental health. Yeah, we have. We publish a mental health and nutrition quarterly newsletter and a journal for orthomolecular medicine for professionals. So there's lots of information for people in our website and in journals and uh, the newsletter. It's just really exciting, and I'm I'm so happy to be involved with it. Wonderful, wonderful. How there's yeah, there's that connect between what you're doing in your business because you're talking Mm -hmm. about nutrition and and using nutrition for your physical, mental well-being. And that is exactly what the International Schizophrenia Foundation, they're using health and supplements and things like that to help treat a specific uh, condition, but it, it's still the same foundation. And so I can see how you're yeah. di- uh, immediately drawn into and, and want to support, well, plus with the personal tie that you have uh, exactly. with, with you know your son being involved. That's always... Uh, uh, catalyst for us to be in, become involved, but it's a great alignment with what you're doing in your business. Um, it just, so it just what feels you, right. Yeah. yeah it, and and, and you know, stress has it, a lot to do with it, too, because if, if a person with mental health issues is stressed, they'll have worse, uh, it'll worsen their mental health condition. So for me, it, it all works together. <laughs> Yeah, right. I, I, can I, see, I can see you. the synchronicity. You know, the, it's all yep. uh, synchronized. Uh, what you're doing. So, it, working with the founder, what do you envision for the future of your foundation? What, what might be your goals and uh, wish list? Well, I I'm very happy to. Um, I envision that doctors will be trained in nutrition and uh, effective supplementation in all in all med- medical schools. I mean, it, wouldn't it be wonderful if you went to your doctor and and right away they said, okay, let's see your B12 level. Let's see what your, um, you know, if thyroid is low, see what's mm-hmm. causing these symptoms. It's already started in some medical schools, so it is catching on. And, and a lot of younger doctors are very interested, uh, not just younger ones, but a lot are, in this concept since as a society, you know how more aware we are now, the hazards of processed foods and fast foods and how yes. it affects our bodies and our brains. And a lot of these chemicals and GMOs are, are wantonly added to foods for longer shelf life and not a longer life for us, <laughs> harming our health yeah, and our I children's see. health. Mm-hmm. So it, it really, I'm very passionate about this. And, and to me, uh, the ISF is, is, continues to work it's since 1968 when it was first uh, chartered to spread the word about basic ways to achieve both you know, mental and physical health. So, so it, to me, it's a, very exciting. And it, it raised a question in my mind. Um, mm-hmm. uh, we, we're talking about food and, and supplements, you know, just that whole natural thing. If you had to um, talk to uh, a specific symptom, let's, uh, 
I'm always stressed, but, you know, I just go out and (laughs) – going back to to your business, if you had Uh a couple tips to offer in terms of an entrepreneur, a nonprofit owner, founder that is really, really stressed and and they can't quite seem to get out from underneath that rock, I'll call it, what would be Uh just some really fast, you know, things to implement today to help them uh, relieve stress based on your work and your business? Well, I'd say, first of all, prioritize your commitments. <laughs> like, I'd like, look and see, are you doing too much? Are you overloaded up to your neck? And some of them you're not even <laughs> wanting to do anymore. You know, we're, we're, we're living in, in overcommitment. And uh, with our kids, elder care, you know, and um, ask for help if you're overcommitted. I think that a lot of women hate to ask for help. But um, mm-hmm. and see see if you can. You mean we're not something. super women? Oh my God! No, you know what? We still think we are. <laughs> but you know what? We still think we are, and we think we can do more and more and more, and it's not true. So start practicing saying yes to your own needs. Do something for yourself. Schedule a physical checkup. Um, you know your your feelings of being exhausted or or depressed may have physical origins, or not enough sleep, or from a poor diet. So let's let's just start assessing where we're at and going from there. Everyone's got a different story. You know, you might you might be really troubled with a lot of family problems. I know some people they've got such relationship problems in their families, and others have um, elder care to worry about, and they're they're trying to look after their own kids and looking after a sick parent. So it's um, it depends on the person, and I think we just have to look and see, and um, you know, get help from the, if you have a spouse, pick up, let them pick up the cleaning, the groceries, or hire someone to do it, or you know, get a cleaning person. Okay, let me go see if mine's listening. Get, right get, now. get okay. this person a broom for heaven's sake. <laughs> you well, too much. Actually, one of the best <laughs> tips of advice I got a, a few years ago, uh, and and I had to laugh because they said, look around the house at at the chore that you hate doing the least and it's generally uh-huh. cleaning the toilets and cleaning your bathroom <laughs> whereas how much is your per hour wage worth how much are you how much could you pay someone to do that and so That's the right. suggestion was the first one is to bring in your house cleaning engineer as your That's first right. employee to actually exactly. because it's actually financially efficient to have someone else clean your house because then your time can be used more effectively. And I was like, exactly. well, yes, I got to go what get a good my idea. house <laughs> engineer, you know, and, and you, you don't yeah, think about I, those little I, things because yeah, we stress I, I mean, about. This is, this is just some of the things that people can do and, and just stop and smell the roses, yeah. you know. Make yeah. sure you're not just running yourself frazzled. And the way you're, are you walking fast? Are you talking fast? Are you eating fast? Are you, oh. you know, having more accidents? Like really get hold of your own personal um, way that you deal with the world and, and resolve to maybe be a bit slower. Put some nourishing food in your mouth. <laughs> I, I oh, that sounds good. The, yeah, I just spoke yes. with a, a client who who's doing, you know, just living on insurer and corn chips, and she doesn't understand why she's tired and and has terrible, you know, anxiety. And you can't live on 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 foods that are have little nourishment and and expect to be well. Yes. And so it does it all here. tie in. Absolutely, because uh, one of the things I started doing is actually doing more home cooked meals, just yeah. because mm-hmm. it it slows me down, it gets me away from my desk, and then mm-hmm. because I cooked it, I want to sit down and actually enjoy it, and so it, exactly. it really has made a, a big difference in how I look at the day because I carve out this time to cook dinner and sit down and enjoy it. And, well, I, and I applaud. It really, I applaud. <laughs> I have a chap I have a chapter about that. It's called Liberated from the Kitchen to Fast Food Paradise or Hell. And <laughs> I like that. Or or this is your brain speaking, feed me, I'm hungry. And I yeah. mean I'm not saying it's easy when you're busy, but there's there's simple ways you can make quick meals that that taste good and uh, that are more uh, nutritionist and just using natural ingredients with all the ad- yes. without added chemicals and things. So 
so uh, I, we can do it, you know. It's just uh, just learning how. It's sometimes we have to learn some basic things over again. That's yes. right. That's and, right. And even with Sharon and I, we are, we are extremely busy. I, you know, we both know each other's schedules and, and, and extremely busy. But, you know, uh, it's it's good just to, you know, my, my husband is the famous for the impromptu party, which we <laughs> think is good. That's what you need, right? <laughs> That's wonderful. I love that about her and her husband. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it is great in some ways because you may not have made it otherwise, but then it's a lot of scrambling. <laughs> But well, um, it, it's a lot of sc- sc- scrambling. But then it made me because generally on a Saturday I would have sat at my computer working. But it yeah, made me there just you are. stop, reflect, mm-hmm. enjoy and my thing. friends. Yeah. You know what? You just brought up another thing, which is really important for stress, is to getting together with friends. It actually brings out a certain chemical in us that stops the stress ke- uh, chemicals flowing mm-hmm. through our body. And it's it's really important to be with friends. We have uh, much the ones that are with friends have much better health than the ones that sit alone. Uh, you're, wow. you're much healthier, uh, happier, and so don't you know? Don't you get too busy? We let go of friendships, friendships, and it's such a it's such a mistake. <clears throat> Yeah, well, we, said, we ended up just laughing for about five or six hours. Literally, just we sat there and laughed. For <laughs> really? Yeah. I actually exactly. got tears. I got to do a cry belly laugh, so you really need that. <laughs> but, but, you know, we have a lot of great resources for people who don't know where to start on the um, mindfulcharity.ca uh, site. There's a lot of ways to uh, get a healthy brain for your kid, uh, s- certain uh, foods and different things that, the, that you can help them with, and yourself at the same time. People don't realize that uh, we need the same thing as our kids need. And yeah, absolutely. kids have a, they're growing and changing their brains and their bodies are really needed even more than us. But we all do because we can't cope with uh, food or, or really be at our top, uh, especially if you want to be a uh, you know an entrepreneur, entrepreneur. It's very hard to uh, keep control of everything if you're if you're tired and you're not properly fed and your brain isn't working yeah. the way it should be. Yeah, mm-hmm. you have given so many. I always tell my clients that. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I, I, oh, I always tell my clients that um, that it's very important to implement self care because most most of them, a lot of the anxiety and and like you said with schizophrenia, one symptom can lead to another. Yeah. So uh, it, it's yeah. wonderful that the model you 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 work under with the Schizophrenia Foundation that they're expanding and looking at the other diagnoses because usually there's one of two of those together. So right. I love that component. And without it, it started, self-care, it, you can't serve. Yes, it's so true. And it, it started with actually research done with people who uh, had schizophrenia in, in, a, uh, in Western Canada in the 50s, believe it or not, and uh, it's found that certain nutrients really help it enormously, especially if it's caught within the first two years of onset. And um, but then, uh, as they went on with the work, it was found to help you know other people with other illnesses, and it just expanded. Mm-hmm. And so I love that. Uh, it, it was it's just wonderful. So we're we're really coming full circle and, and trying to help everyone that, uh, that we can through our work so through the, I, uh, the foundation. Yeah. I am sure our listeners want to get in touch with you because uh, you're just a wealth of information. So please share again all of the okay. means that they can find you through your website uh, <laughs> so that they can sure. jot them down and get in contact with you. I'd be happy to. You can contact me at my website. It's uh, www.healthinharmony, because we need our health in harmony, dot com, H-E-A-L-T-H-I-N harmony dot com. You can call me at one eight seven seven six five three zero zero seven seven. And um, the uh, the ISF is um, isfmentalhealth.org. You got, we have lots of resources on there. And um, if you need to find a, a practitioner, we can help you do that. And also uh, the Mindful Charity. It's, it's um, mindfulcharity.ca. And so those are really good uh, resources for you. And so it's, uh, you know what, I'll never regret this pathway I took for myself and my family for better physical and mental health. And uh, I really implore you to don't give up hope. And there are many pathways to explore. 
and um, you know, just just keep at it and to improve your health. Wonderful. You know, it, it's been really an honor to have you on as a guest today, and um, uh, I hope that everything goes great. Oh, thank yeah, you so too. much. And same for you. And keep up your good work because I think this is what we need in this world. We need to be helping others and in our businesses, in our, our particular uh, charitable foundations, and, and that's what makes the world go round. That's the way I was raised, and I, and I really believe that. Yeah, th- that's our whole goal is to bring exposure and, and let people talk about their story, how they yeah. are using their business to promote what their passion is. Uh, thank you again for being on. Well, so thank excited you for having me. Absolutely, that the Philanthropeneur Journal is a member of the Infinity Business Media Group. So before launching, uh, we have just a few more days of uh, ads for a call at the old prices. If you check our website today, go to the Marketing Ads tab, you'll see that the old prices are there. But we are switching those out probably within the next seven days. Uh, remember, 10% of all ad fees go to the Foundation to Foster Empowerment, a charitable foundation that helps aging out fosters. Visit the Marketing Slash Ad tab under Journal on our site today to claim uh, this last call for ads. Are you a philanthropist? Would you like to be a guest and share your business and energy and how it impacts community? Submit the radio guest inquiry form, and you will be on your way to being featured. Do it today. The 2014 schedule is filling up fast. In fact, we're all the way into October schedule. So visit www.thephilanthropeneur.com and send us a note. Well, Sharon, it's been another great show, and thank you, awesome uh, Rosalie, show. for coming on, you know, I, I'm so excited. This is Victoria Boyd and Sharon Evans saying thank you for joining us. Mark your calendar and join us Wednesday, August 20th, where we will have our guest will be Angel Michael Rojas, a very interesting fellow that will talk about how he uses his spirit and energy to impact entrepreneurs. Uh, You'll see more about that on our posting for the next show. And so we'll see you August 20th at 8 a.m. Pacific time. Also save the date for our one-year anniversary show on September 3rd. See you then. Thank you for tuning in to the Philanthropeneur Radio Show, hosted by Dr. Victoria Boyd. Get involved. Follow us on Facebook and other social media outlets. If you wish to share comments or suggestions or appear as a guest on our show, visit www.thephilanthropeneur.com. Contact Victoria Boyd. Email her at theboyd at thephilanthropeneur.com. The Philanthropeneur Radio Show is a production of and sponsored by the Philanthropeneur Foundation, a 501c3 tax-deductible organization.